Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis. First of all, my greetings to all Kannadigas for Kannada Raju Sabha. This day remarks the formation of Karnataka, one of the most beautiful state of this great nation. Today we will be decoding the much discussed pride and backbone of Indian Air Force and it's none other than Sukhoi 30 MKI. Though in recent times much of the talk is going around Rafale F-18 Super Hornets and 5th or 6th generation fighters, Su-30 MKI is still a formidable and very potent opponent in the sky and why you will get to know by the end of this video. So stay with us till the end and get ready to embrace the amazing features of Su-30 MKI. Su-30 MKI is a twin-seater, multi-role, long-range fighter or bomber or you can say air security aircraft. It is developed by Russian company Sukhoi and built under license by HAL. It first entered in service in 2004 and till date we have 260 Sukhoi 30 MKI in our inventory. Now let's start looking inside Sukhoi 30 MKI. We will start with engines. The Su-30 MKI is powered by two Saturn AL-31FP turbofan engines each of which is capable of generating a thrust up to 122.6 kN. It can achieve a max speed of Mach 2 in a horizontal flight and has a rate of climb of 59,000 feet per minute. It has a service ceiling of 56,800 feet and G limit of plus 9. G limit refers to load to weight ratio and in case of Sukhoi 30 MKI, it can lift load 9 times of its own weight. If you have noticed the speed, the rate of climb, service ceiling and G limit of Sukhoi 30 MKI is slightly better than even Rafale. However, when it comes to reliability of engines, the Rafale's M88 engines are more reliable than Saturn AL-35FP. There are plans to upgrade engines to Saturn AL-31FS engine which is more powerful and has a longer lifespan. This will increase the jet's endurance and also make it more survivable and better suited to carry heavy weapons. Next. We'll talk about radars. The Su-30 MKI is integrated with N011M BARS, also known as Panther, which is a powerful integrated passive electronically scanned array radars, also known as PSA. It can function in air-to-air, air-to-ground, or air-to-sea mode simultaneously. It is also equipped with radar anti-jamming features. This radar has a search range of 4,000 km and a maximum 200 km tracking range and 60 km in rear hemisphere. This enables Su-30 MKI to also function as a mini AWACS as a director or command post for other aircrafts. It can transfer target coordinates automatically to at least four other aircrafts. The radar can track 15 targets and engage four simultaneously. These targets can include fighter aircrafts, cruise missiles, and motionless helicopters. The radar can also detect ground targets, just tanks at a range of 40 to 50 kilometers. However, Su-30 MKI's PESA radars are slightly less powerful than that of Su-35 bought by China and Rafale, which has AESA, Active Electronically Scanned Radars. There are plans to upgrade the Su-30 MKI PESA radar with Zook AESA in Super Sukhoi upgrade. These radars can then track 30 aerial targets in scan mode and can engage six targets simultaneously. We will now discuss about other important avionics which is used in Su-30 MKI such as IRST. IRST stands for Infrared Ray Search and Tracking System. Similar to radars, it is used in detecting and tracking objects based on their infrared or heat signatures. Su-30 MKI uses OLS-30 optical detection pod which provides its both day and night capability with helmet mounted sighting system. Su-30 MKI uh, which uses OLS-30 is a combination of IRST and LR laser ranger which uh, has a detection range of 90 km and 3.5 km respectively. It is also fitted with a satellite navigation system which enables it to operate in all weather day and night. Now let's talk about the electronic countermeasures systems of Su-30 MKI. It includes Tarang ARWR, RWR stands for Radar Warning Receiver developed by DRDO. The RWR system can detect radio emissions of radar systems 
provides warning when the enemy radar signal is detected. It also includes Elta ELM8222, a self-protection jammer developed by Israel Aircraft Industries and used by Israeli Air Force in its F-15s. Now we will talk about various missiles and the major weapons that can be integrated with Su-30 MKI. To start with, it has a 30mm auto cannon gun for short range combat and dog fights. The Su-30 MKI has 12 hard points which includes two wingtip air to air missile launch rails, two pylon underwing, two pylon under engine nacelles and two pylons in tandem in the arch between the engines. Hard points can further be increased to 14 using multiple ejector racks. It supports wide variety of missiles, but we will talk about only the major ones. In air to air missiles category, it can carry 10 I Derby ER missiles, which are the beyond visible range missiles with a range of 100 km and a speed of, speed of Mach 4. It also includes 10 Astra MK1 developed by DRDO with a range of 110 km and a speed of 4.5 Mach. In air to surface missile category, it can carry 3 KH 59ME or it can carry 6 KH 29T/L Russian origin air to surface missiles. It can also carry two Nirbhaya missiles which were recently tested and has been provided by DRDO. In anti ship missiles category, it can carry 3 KH 59MK, 4 KH 35, 6 KH 31A of Russian origin. It can also carry one Brahmos, which was tested recently successfully on 30th of October. In the category of anti radiation missile, it can carry six Rudram 1 missile recently tested by DRDO and six KH 31P Russian missiles. Now let's talk about some important bombs which can be integrated with SU 30 MKI. It can carry 20 DRDO SAAW glide bombs which is an anti-air field bombs, 3 Sudarshan laser guided bombs, 8 RBK 500 cluster bombs usually used as an anti-tank bombs. Now we will talk about its airframe and aerodynamics performance. The airframe is constructed of titanium and a high strength aluminium alloy. The canards and the thrust written nozzles are two prominent features of SU-30 MKI which enables it to perform difficult maneuvers such as Cobra maneuvers with an ease. The RCS of SU-30 MKI varies from 4 to 20 square meters. Now talking about endurance, the SU-30 MKI has a range of 3000 km with internal fuel tank which ensures a flight hour of uh, 3.5 hours. The air refueling system increases the flight hour further by 10 hours with a range of 8000 km at a cruising height of 11 to 13 km. At the end, we will talk about its cost. The per unit cost of SU-30 MKI is 50 million dollars or 358 crore rupees. It is much less when compared to the foreign fighters like Rafale or F-18 Super Hornet. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.